So, so far in every program we've looked at, the computer has been executing every single line of code. We really haven't had a scenario come up where we wanted the computer to divert around certain lines of code or only execute certain lines of code under certain conditions. We kind of got that with the loop. If we go back to one of the first codes we made, we had this loop uh, where it repeats this block of code over and over again while it's counting I from one to a thousand. And that's fine, that's, that's good, that's a helpful thing. But again, the computer is executing every single line of code. There's really no way for it to skip any lines of code. Um, the way we do that is with what's called an if command. We're going to set that up in this simple program here. We're going to give a value for the variable a, and we're going to test whether a is bigger than 10. Maybe we're checking uh, the amount of fuel in a car. Maybe we're checking whether we bought enough bags of chips for the party. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check whether a is bigger than 10. So if you think back to uh, grade school, the way you would write that is a greater than 10. And if you don't remember your less than and greater than signs, just think of this as an alligator. It wants to eat the larger thing. So its mouth is opening up to the left. So that means we're saying A is greater than 10. Only we don't know whether A is bigger than 10. So we have to introduce a command called if. You notice if turns purple because vPython knows what if means. In other words, we're checking whether A is bigger than 10, and if that is true, then we're going to execute the next block of code. So it's usually safest to put this little test in parentheses to make sure it captures all of it. Basically what vPython is going to do, it's going to read this A greater than 10, and it's going to return a value of either true or false. And basically we're going to say if this thing is true, then continue, and if it's false, don't go on to the next block of code. It works essentially the same way as this while condition does. The while loop repeats as long as the thing in parentheses is true. As soon as it's no longer true, it exits the while loop and continues on. So this is similar to that, and it's only going to execute the next chunk of code if this thing is true. And just like with the while loop, we have to give a colon. And when I hit enter, vPython automatically indents so that uh, we can tell the computer that this next chunk of code is underneath the if command. So I have a stated purpose that I want the computer to tell me whether a is bigger than 10, so that means I need a print statement, because unless I use a print statement, um, the computer will never talk to me. And I have to say something like, yes, it is greater than 10. We'll close up the parentheses there. And uh, when I want to exit the if block, I'm just going to hit backspace to get my alignment back all the way to the left. And I'll have it print end of program. There we go. I suppose I'll capitalize this. It's not really a complete sentence, but I'll capitalize it for consistency. All right, let's hit control two to run. And all I get is end of program. You notice it skipped over the part where I asked it to print, yes, it is greater than 10, because A is not bigger than 10. We set A equal to five here. So we've got A greater than, if we've got, we're checking for whether A is greater than 10, that's returning false. So it's skipping this line of code. Now it would be nice to know that yes, it is indeed registering that correctly. Or it might be nice to say, what happens if A is not bigger than 10? For that, you use an else command. So basically this is saying if this statement is true, then you uh, execute this block of code. Otherwise, or else, you execute this block of code. And let's just have it do another print statement. Um, and let's have this be, no, it is not greater than 10. So what I can do now is I can run this. And you notice it gives me this line. So I come into this if block and it's either going to execute line seven or it's going to execute line nine, depending on the value of A. So if A is greater than 10, it's going to execute line seven. If it's not, which is the case now, then we're going to execute line nine. No, it is not greater than 10. Now, of course, I can make this greater than 10. I can make this 15. And that's going to change which line uh, the program executes. So it's going to now go with, yes, it is greater than 10. There are lots of different things you can do with this. All we're doing here is a simple print statement of, of, of the result, uh, but you can do all sorts of things with this. In particular, you can 
uh, you, you can nest your if statements. So for example, let's suppose I, I'm not satisfied that it's that it's less than 10, but maybe I can check for if it is greater than five. So what I've got here is I've got another if block uh, inside this else. So here it's gonna print this and then it's gonna evaluate the next if block. And I can say print, but at least it's, oops, at least it's greater than it is. Uh, you always wanna be careful using the, the apostrophe inside a quotation thing, but at least it's greater than five. There we go. And of course that might not be true. So I can have another else. And then I can do copy and, oops, paste. And I can say it is not even greater than five. So let's see here. So if I go with the 15, it's gonna skip all of this entirely. So it's still just gonna go with yes is greater than 10. Let's change this now to seven, control two to run. And here I get two lines because I skip from, from this block. I skip down to here. I get no, it's not greater than 10. If a is greater than five, a is greater than five. So we go down here, but at least it is greater than five. And then we skip this part. We go down to end of program. So you can nest these if blocks as much as you want. Um, in fact, there's even a feature where you can just combine them together. Let's suppose I didn't want it to print uh, no, it's not greater than 10 at all. Let's suppose I didn't care about that and I just wanted to go straight into um, this block here. What I can do is I can now build in if a greater than five. I can just have it go directly into another if statement, which means I'll need to de-indent this. There we go. And then I can have another else here. So I can say it is not greater than five. Let's change the verbiage here. Um, it is greater than five, but less than 10. There we go. So what it does now is checks if a is greater than 10. Okay, go to the next part. Uh, otherwise, if it's greater than five, go to the next part. And basically I can keep nesting these. I can keep listing else if, else if, else if all I want. And then the final else just takes care of every other possibility. So let's see what we get here. So we evaluated if a greater than 10, it tells me no, that's false. Okay, is a greater than five? And that's true. So we go in here, it is greater than five, but less than 10. So we get here and then it skips this next part because this is looking for, this last else is looking for both of these uh, pieces here to return false before it prints this here. And again, you can put other stuff down here. You can put other calculations. You can have it call functions. Uh, you can have most of your program written within the if block, lots of fun things you can do. Um, we're at about the eight minute mark now. So what I'm gonna do is call this video to a close and we're gonna make a sequel where we modify this code to use an if statement to create a bouncing animation in our code here. So uh, we will look forward to that next time.